So the University of Colorado uh, has been building instruments for spacecraft for over 70 years. Uh, they have contributed to or built instruments on spacecraft that have visited every planet in the solar system. Uh, the University of Colorado builds in student involvement at every stage of spacecraft design or spacecraft instrument design. COSMO has a mission to take measurements of the Earth's magnetic field from space, and in particular to provide inputs to a global model that will describe the entire Earth's magnetic field. The COSMO mission design and development is largely driven by and around students. We include a class uh, here at CU Boulder where students get involved in the development of the mission. Students have been involved since the beginning from the requirements development uh, all the way through the design phase of the mission and now into the manufacturing integration and test phase. My name is Carolina Pena and I am a PhD student um, working on the instrument. I'm the instrument lead. There are different types of magnetometers and each one um, uses different techniques to measure Earth's magnetic field. One part of the design of COSMO is you know, making it clean enough magnetically, making the magnetic noise low enough such that it doesn't affect our measurements. And the other side is making a magnetometer that has you know, the resolution, the precision, the accuracy that you need in a very small space, small and cheap. So previous missions that have taken these measurements, such as SWARM, have been large spacecraft. Our goal with COSMO is to replace that with a CubeSat that is 60 centimeters in length and 10 centimeters uh, in cross-section. So CubeSats are small, complete spacecraft. Uh, I say complete in the sense that they have everything a larger spacecraft would have. The basic unit of a CubeSat volume is a 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter cube. Uh, that's referred to as a 1U element. Uh, CubeSats are some integer multiple, typically, of those 1U elements. And COSMO is a 6U, so it's 60 centimeters long and 10 centimeters in cross-section. Um, so it's a big challenge to replace everything that goes into a 8-meter long spacecraft and compress it into this tiny form factor. CubeSats are a good design choice for this type of mission. Uh, because CubeSats are excellent for focused science questions where one or two scientific instruments are sufficient to answer the science question. A magnetometer is a device which takes measurements of the magnetic field. There are a variety of types of magnetometers, from optical magnetometers, fluxgate magnetometers. Ours is an optical magnetometer which has been modified to take vector measurements of the magnetic field. There have been optical magnetometers that go to space before. Um, they use helium and our instrument uses rubidium. Until recently, no one had taken that type of instrument and which takes magnitude measurements and designed it to also get vector measurements out of it. That's a challenge. Making this new instrument that's never flown, right? The small rubidium instrument never flown. Um, creating this other section of it for the vectorization and putting the two together and then making them space ready. The involvement of students on the project is extremely valuable. They bring a unique perspective to projects. They bring a lack of biases of how things have been done in the past. The students that we get on these projects are all very excited about space, very excited about developing something that will ultimately go into space. My name is Chad Miller. I'm a second year master's student um, in aerospace engineering and I'm the project manager as well as the lead for the command and data handling electronics. As a student project manager, um, my responsibilities on the project are to manage the team. So this basically comes down to working with the timeline and figuring out what we need to do right now, like our priority, to make sure that we launch and have a successful mission as fast as possible, as cheap as possible, and as successful as possible. So for me, the most rewarding is to see the good work that my team brings to the table every week. And so that problem solving process is super rewarding. I'm a big space nerd, so this thing's gonna fly in space. You get to touch and you know, be confident that this thing is gonna work, it's gonna fly, and I can you know, prove that it's gonna work. I love space. Like you cannot imagine how much I love space. And for me to think that I was gonna be able to design something, to build something that comes from my, my head that I worked on physically for years, and then it's gonna be out there. And it's gonna be doing science. It's, it's my dream and it's what I was looking for at a PhD. 